Yeah, well done. Is that a slight look of relief on your face? I've just got a really sore back. Oh, have you? <laughs> yeah, like, what cobbling about here? Um, first, when I got out of the car in FP1, I got out and I was like, oh, and it's just got worse all day, so it's fine when I'm in there, which is fortunate. And uh, thankfully, the car's been really kind to me because uh, it's, it's just been a pleasure to drive all day. I mean, and I'm really pleased for you as well because obviously last time out, you you know we could see that you had the pace at Croft, weren't yeah. able to deliver it in qualifying. Yeah. Great that you've actually been able to do that here, no issues yeah, with the we're, car. Yeah, we've kind of built into this season and developed the car. Um, but developed the car more around me and, and uh, since Salton Park, it's just been a total change, uh, change for me. Croft, I felt like we potentially could have a pole position, you say, um, but it wasn't to be with the engine failure. And today, I just kind of was like, right, who cares about that? Let's focus on each session as it comes, get the most out of myself, get the most out of the car. And uh, it was a little bit close at the end, but we did it. You did indeed. It looked like you were getting um, slightly frustrated with your new best friend, Dan Lloyd, at times. Yeah, well, if I'm honest, there was only 10 cars on track. And I was happy to tow him in the first run, the first couple of laps. And I thought, all right, well, now it's, now it's your turn. Um, but uh, understandably, you know, um, he, he just sat behind me, played a good game. I was like, oh, well, if he ain't going to go in front, I best just, just go for it. And uh, sometimes you just got to kind of, right, get it done. And it was just enough today. So. And the fact that you, you did that, you did it all on your own, I mean, is that, does that make it even, even sweeter? I think so. I don't know what anyone, everyone else did, but I know that a tow around here is worth a good couple of tenths of a second. And uh, I would have loved to have had a tow, it, it would have made it easier. But yeah, I think if everyone else had a tow and I didn't, then it's great. Um, but I'm sure there'll be other people out there who, who didn't manage to get a tow like myself. So I'm on pole, I don't care. Good stuff. Well <laughs> done, right. you. Well done. Well, let's get to Tom Ingram in for, oh, for a oh, chat. Top job, mate. Um, uh, well, it's great you're congratulating him because he took that pole away from you, didn't he? Uh, look, we're, we're still going <laughs> around with 39 kilos, so I'm, uh, I'm really pleased, really, really pleased. We needed this. I think I said to you at Croft as well, this is, this is where we've been lacking. Saturdays. Saturdays is where we've been struggling. As a front-wheel drive car, we can about get close to the rear-wheel drive cars, Ash and, and people like this, and qualifying with big weight on. But we can't do anything with it over the race distance, so we can just about pull a time out. So we need this. We need to be light on a Saturday uh, to stand a chance of getting a good first race result, and, and, and that's actually really, really important. So you could say, am I disappointed with second? Of course I'm disappointed with second. Um, but then at the same time, I'm really pleased to be back up in the mix in qualifying because it's the Saturdays that we've been, where we've been really struggling. And looking forward to tomorrow, what are, you, what are your thoughts with that lighter car? I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. It's a circuit that uh, I've loved. You know, I've, I've, I've done well here um, since 2016. I don't think I've been off the podium since then. And I, I think I've had a win every year since as well, bar two laps from the end last year. So, you know, from that point of view, it's a circuit I really, really enjoy. So it's good. I know this car. I know where it's fairly strong and I know where it's fairly, fairly weak. So. And how, what, how much of a difference is that going to make? Um, uh, quite a lot. You know, I know, you know, I know, I know where, where that car's uh, particularly weak. So, you know, I know where I can uh, maybe exploit that tomorrow. Good stuff. We look forward to Thank it. Thank you. Well done. Um, and well done also to uh, to this man, Aiden. Uh, you're back up here. Not quite the same as last time around, but P3 is a, is a damn fine result. Yeah, I mean, there was something new for us carrying um, a lot, well, will be only 29 kilos, but uh, new for us, nevertheless, carrying weight and qualifying. So I wasn't sure what to expect, but yeah, P3 over the moon with that. It's a shame we got pipped um, quite near the end by uh, Rory, or it would have been another front row start, but yeah, I'm uh, delighted with P3 and, and a position to, to challenge for more podiums tomorrow. You had the opportunity, obviously, with, with Ash in the session as well, to be towing each other, but it looked like you'd, you'd sort of made the decision not to do that. Yeah, we, we, we trialled it in, um, in FP1 and FP2. Um, last year, I was a, a bad uh, headwind going down the, the back straight, and that was, that's where you gained the time, whereas today, the headwind only really caught you um, coming out of turn one. But you lose that little bit of front end through the high speed turn one when you're tucked up. So the kind of gains out with uh, what, what you lost, uh, it kind of balanced itself out. So it was probably, we decided, just easier to focus on the track without someone in front of us catching their eyes. So yeah, we, we, we tried it. It wasn't for the, uh, it didn't work, but uh, both in the top 10 with uh, Ash with the full ballast and myself with 29 kilos, which is again something new for me. So we, we can't complain. So what are your thoughts looking ahead tomorrow? 
Yeah, we, I just need to get as much points as possible. Um, the big thing is, you know, Ash has to do what Ash has to do for the championship, and um, if things are ever getting above the dog fight, we always look to help Ash. But we're leading the team's championship, um, so it's crucial that we both score good points. And uh, it'd be nice if I can keep trying to go up the table a bit. We're up to P7 now and starting third tomorrow, so points is the main thing. See you out there. Thank you.